Hey guys, Christine Curry, and today we're going to be doing core yoga. So it basically will be a vinyasa flow yoga with an emphasis on the core. All right, so move at your own speed. I'll try to show some modifications if we have them. Um, and if there's something else I need to show, I'll show it to you. So first, just get centered, close the eyes, bring the hands to the heart, and just take a deep breath. So inhale. And again, breath in and breath out. So open in the eyes, stretch the arms up and bring it down. So again, just stretch the arms up, so lengthen through the abdominals. And then you're going to bring the hands together and release the index fingers. Kind of shimmy side to side. And then arms up, keep the elbows in line with the ears and take it over to the right. So big look up and then you can rotate the chest up if you need to one more breath here and then draw it up and again kind of loosen up and then arms strong to the left side take it over side bend look up a little rotation bring it back over get a little deeper and then draw it good inhale exhale open the chest Breath in, and then swan dive forward. Inhale, extend the spine, and then exhale, fold. Draw it back up, breath in. Again, exhale, open the heart. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Okay, so one more time. Breath in, take it forward. So lengthen the spine, so really look up. Draw it down. One more time, look up, and draw it down. This time, just wrap the hands behind the legs. If you need to bend the knees, go ahead. Pull yourself in, and then draw it back up. So I'm dive back up, and hands to the heart. All right, so we're gonna move on from there. Inhale, lift up, and then I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see it from the side. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, extend, so shoulder blades back, and this time step it back to plank. So holding plank, shoulders over the wrists, push into the heels, and then lift the right leg up. So right away into the core. So you're just gonna bring the right knee to the left elbow, and then bring it back. Lift the left leg up, draw it to the right elbow, and bring it back. So we're gonna do that about six more times. So you're gonna lift it, Twist it, bring it back. Lift it, twist it, bring it back. Lift it, twist it, bring it back. Lift it, twist, bring it back. Two more times. So lift the right, twist it over, bring it back. Lift the left, twist it over, bring it back. So lower it down, belly all the way down. Inhale, lift up into cobra, stretch. Exhale, bring it down. Again, inhale, so thighs are on the ground to start. Lift up, exhale down. And last one, inhale, lift up, hold it here, shoulders back, breathe. Now look back, turn the toes under, and pull it back to downward dog. So at this point, if the heels don't make it to the floor, that's okay. All right, so stretch back. Press the hands, look at your fingers, make sure your fingers are spread, hips are back, and lift the right leg to the sky, breath in, bend the knee, open the hip, bring it back, and then shift forward, so again, into the core. Bring the right knee to the right elbow, draw it up, bend the knee, open the hip. So let's do that again. So bring it forward, bring it back, and open. And then place the leg down. All right, second side. So lift the left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, bring it forward to the left shoulder. Bring it up, bend the knee, open the hip, bring it up, and forward. Lift it up, place it down. So take a nice stretch here, 
then look forward to the hands. On the first one, we're gonna walk the feet to the hands. Draw it in. Again, inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. And then draw it all the way up, breath in. Hands to the heart. All right, so let's flow through that again, that whole thing. So inhale, lift up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, extend. This time, you can either jump back or step back. Lift the thighs off the floor for upward dog. So this time my thighs are off, or you can keep them down right here, Cobra. Your choice. And then downward dog, breathe. Right leg to the sky one time. Bring it to the left shoulder, so twist. And then flip it. And place it down. Left leg up. Twist. Bring it up. And over. Hips back. Look forward to the hands. Bend the knees. Jump the feet to the hands. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, fold. Draw it all the way up. Breath in. Hands to your heart. Breathe. Let's do that again. Ready? Inhale, lift up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, you can step or jump back. Flip the toes, lift up, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, take it back. Right leg lifts up. Bring it to the left elbow, twist. And then we're adding on. Lift it up and pull it through into crescent lunge. So lift up, breath in. So make sure the back leg is extended and knee is over the ankle. Breathe in, twist to the right. Lift up. And again, do that again. So twist to the right, pull the abdominals in. Lift up. And one more time. Twist to the right. And lift up, hold. Hands together, take a big back bend if you can. And then hands down, release the right leg, keep it up. Lower it down, bring it back up, pull it through, and lift. Big stretch. Bring the hand behind the head. Look at that right leg and will it to come off the ground. So right here, abdominals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now watch, if you're strong enough, put, keep it up. Left hand down, right leg back up, and release. Let's do the other side. So lift the leg. Bring it to the other elbow, right elbow. Lift it up, and we pull it through into crescent lunge. So get that foot as far as you can forward. Draw it up, lift up. So lengthen the back leg, then inhale, twist. Good, and up, and again. Twist to the left, and up, and again, twist. Good, hold the last one. Draw it up, big back bend back. Hands draw down. Bring the left leg up. And adding on, bring it to the right elbow. Step it out, lift the arm up. Look down at the left leg and lift it eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See if you can keep it up. Bring it back up, come forward, one leg, lower down. Inhale, lift up, exhale back. Breathe here, bend the right knee, bend the left knee, bend the knees, and really lift and jump forward. So inhale here, exhale, take it down. Bring it all the way up, and hands to your heart. All right, so we're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, lift up, exhale down. So we added that oblique twist. Inhale, extend, then exhale. You can step or jump back. Lift the chest, draw it back. Right leg to the sky, one time, don't twist open. Bring it to the left elbow, lift it up, bring it through crescent lunge. So lift up, we're not gonna hold this time. Breath in, one twist to the right. Lift up, hands down, 
right leg back to the sky, and this time we hold in star pose. Bring it through to the left elbow, and you're gonna kick that leg out, turn your back foot flat, lift up, look at the right foot, draw it out, and this time if you wanna make it harder, we draw knee to elbow for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and for those of you who are strong enough, keep that leg up as you come back. Come forward, keep it up, lower down, inhale up, exhale back. Take a breath. Anytime you need to, remember you can always come down to child pose. So back up, left side. So lift the left leg, don't open this one, just hold it to the right elbow. Lift it up. Now bring it into crescent. Everything one breath. Inhale, and then exhale one twist. Drop back up. Step back, left leg kicks up. And this time we open. So bring it to the right elbow, extend it, lift. And for those of you who are okay, bring the knee to the elbow. Okay, here we go, eight crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it back up, bring it forward, lower down, inhale, lift up, exhale, downward dog. It's a nice big stretch here. Then jump the feet to the hands, and again, inhale, exhale, let it go. And then bend the knees, lift the hips, so chair pose. So tuck the tailbone here, so no butts out. Knit the abdominals together, arms up. Breathe, sit deeper. And then we're gonna pop up onto the toes. So just pop up onto the toes, breathe eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then drop it, bring it in, hands to your heart. All right, so moving on. Inhale, drop the knees, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the spine. Exhale, step or jump back. Lower down, big, big back bend. Open the heart, open the chest, bring it back. Right leg to the sky. This time we're gonna move into warrior one. So turn your back foot flat and draw the arms up, breathe. Good, take a big back bend, then sweep the arms back, inhale. Inhale, lift up, exhale, drop back. So squeeze the shoulders. Inhale, lift up, exhale, take it back. Inhale, lift up, exhale, take it back. Clasp the hands, open the shoulders, and drop it into humble warrior. So shoulders, arms up, feel the stretch, and then release, draw it all the way up. Bring the hands to the ground. Again, because we're emphasizing the core, if you're not strong enough, don't worry about it. Take the right leg up, bring it forward into plank and hold. So breathe here, and this time, bring round the back, draw the knee in, curl. But look, I'm staying in a plank position. I'm not going into downward dog. Draw it in, and extend. And again, draw it in, and extend, and here we go, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take a big breath. Bend the knees, get a little jumpy. Jump it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, chair pose. And then draw the hands to the heart, stand up. Bend the knees, lift the chest, chair pose. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, step or float back, lower down. Breath in, inhale, exhale, take it back. Right leg to the sky. This time pull it through into warrior one. So turn the back foot flat, lift up, breath in. Good, hands down, extend the leg all the way up, and then move yourself into plank. Hold plank, round the spine, draw the knee to the forehead, and extend in plank. All right, two more times. 
So draw that in like a, it's exactly a crunch. And bring it back. And one more time. And hold there. Again, draw it down. Keep that right leg lifted. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, take it back. All right, second side. Lift the left leg up. Pull it through warrior one, spin the back foot flat. Draw it up, big arch. Exhale, bring it down. Step the left leg back. Come into plank, and again, crunch in. So knee to nose, bring it out, and two more. Knee to nose, bring it out. So stay in plank, remember, not downward dog. Knee to nose, hold it out, strong core, draw yourself down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Bend the knees, lift the chest, bring it forward. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw it down. Bend the knees, lift the chest, chair. And draw it all the way up, hands to heart. So roll through that again. Bend the knees, lift the chest. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, jump back. Inhale, upward dog or cobra, thighs on the ground, right? Exhale, downward dog. Right leg to the sky, pull it through warrior one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, take it back. Right leg out, hold plank, draw the knee in three times, and bring it back. Draw it in, bring it back, and one more time. Draw it in, extend, lower down. Feet down, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Second side, left side, draw it up. Bring it through, warrior one. So back foot flat, lift up. Exhale, take it down. Bring the leg back, lift it up. Come into plank. Again, round the spine, curl it in three times. And flat back, draw it in. And flat back, draw it in. Hold it out, and again, bring it down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. So right into it, bend the knees, okay? Jump right to the front of the mat, no break. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, lift the chest. Tilt the tailbone in. And then you're gonna start to come down. So really low chair. Some of you may have to open your knees if your hips are tight and bring it all the way in. All right, so from here, you're gonna roll down. Bring the arms up and over the head. Extend the legs. So nice flat body. So take a big stretch here. And then as you lift up, you're gonna round the arms, draw the knee in. Okay, bring it down. You're gonna swing the arms up, draw the knee in. You can even tap your ankles if you want to. So you're gonna draw this in six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, now we're gonna make it a little harder. So now you're gonna balance the opposite foot off the mat, which we didn't do the first time, okay? Down, six of those. So that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, and stretch. Bring the hands down. You're gonna bring the hands underneath the hips for support. I'll give you another option if you need to, but this is the gentlest. Feet together and really lengthen those legs. Pull the tailbone down, lift the legs up, and into leg lifts. So you're gonna draw it down eight times. So here, one, two, three, four, five. And remember to keep those legs extended. Six, seven, and eight, right here. Breathe. Now we're going to corkscrew. So you're going to, I'm going to remove my hands, but if you need to keep your hands underneath, I understand. So hands down. You're going to swing the legs around to the right, really hover over the floor right there, over to the left, and up. And now you're going to go over left, sweep through center, and up. So make sure you get that side piece to the right, over to the left, and up, to the left, over to the right, and up. All right, six of these. One, and I'm picking up my pace. Two, 
three, four, five, six. Now I'm gonna add on, I'm gonna add a lift to this. So you're gonna go around and right here, lift up. You're gonna go around and up, around and up, around and up. So we're gonna do six more. So here's one, here's two, here's three, four, five, and six. Draw the knees in, breathe. Good, hands under, give me a little bit of rock. Come all the way up and then step back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, downward dog. Step or jump your feet to your hands. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, fold it down. Bend the knees, lift the chest. Lift up and bring it in. All right, so shake that out. We're gonna come into chair. So inhale. Exhale, fold. All right, bend that right knee, take a stretch left knee. Lift it all the way up. And then hands to the heart. All right, drop those knees. So we're going to do a little twisting here, which is also good for the waistline. Bring the hands to the heart and then twist to the left. So you're going to draw this in and lift it up. And then again to the left. So you're going to suck this in. Bring it here. Open. And lift it back up. Inhale, stretch up, and we're gonna go back down. Exhale. Again, soften the knees, step or jump back, hold. This time, bring the forearms down, pull the belly in, and we're gonna twist right and left. So you can twist here and left. So twist, 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 twist. So try to get that hip as far down as you can. We have 10 more, we did 20, we're gonna do 20. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Hold, press back up to plank, downward dog. So you're gonna bring the right leg up, pull it through again into warrior one, draw it out. And then you're gonna exhale into warrior two. Take it into reverse warrior. Bring it back into warrior two. And then straighten the legs. So, turning the feet out, bring the hands to the heart. And you're just gonna give me 10 pulses for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stretch the arms up, open the heart, draw it in, and then to the left side, turn the right foot in, left foot out, warrior one, breath in, open into warrior two, reverse it, bring it back up, bring it to center again, and draw it down again, bring it down, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big stretch up. Open the heart. Bring the hands in. And again, step the feet together. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, take it down. This time, walk it out again into plank. So now you're going to drop your right forearm your left arm, then lift the right arm, lift the left arm. So we're gonna stay on the right side, we'll do eight on the right, and then we'll do eight on the left. So you're gonna go right, left, right, left. Okay, that's one. <laughs> right, left, right, left. Okay, so press. You can do this on your knees too, okay? If you're just not strong enough, we have four more. We have three more. Two, 
and one, hold. So really let that belly burn here and then back into the left side. So one and down. So at this point, your stomach should be burning and down. So we did eight of these. You can always drop your knees if you need to. Lift up. So you have four, up. You have three, up. You have two. Last one, and again, hold it. Just let it simmer in there. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Ugh, last four, three, two, stand it back up, downward dog. Right leg to the sky. Give it to me right, bring it to the right shoulder, bring it up. Bring it to the left shoulder, bring it up. Draw it in, round the spine, hold, and then pull it through. Turn the back foot flat, warrior one once again. Draw it back, breathe. Bring it up and bring the hands down. Bring the right leg to the sky. You're gonna bend the knee, open the hip again. If you want to, you can flip it over, stretch. That's an option. Bring it back up and put it down. So left side, left leg up. Warrior one, just one breath. Drop it back, bring it up. Release the leg back, lift it up, bend the knee, and without falling in the pool, bring it over, bring it back, lower down all the way to the floor. So cobra, thighs down, lift up, and give me a high cobra, breathe. Take it back, child pose. all the way up and then take the legs out from underneath you lay back down on your back so we get back into that core so you're gonna bring it in you're gonna bring the legs straight up actually lengthen the left one reach up and give yourself a stretch here so a nice pretty stretch all right then reach up for the heel and then lift the left leg so you're gonna stay really lifted. So my shoulder blades are off the mat. I have my hand wrapped around my heel, right? And then I'm gonna extend my arms, breathing. Then I bring my arms to the right side, through the side. And then right here, right leg taps down six times. One, two, three, four, five, Six, bring it up, grab it again, put the left leg down, release down, and open it to the right. Give me a really pretty stretch to the right. So that, that should just feel good. Bring it back up and switch sides. So right now the right leg stays on the ground. You're gonna lift up, 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 and that left leg. So I have my shoulder blade up, abdominals engaged. I'm reaching for my heel, and I'm lifting my right leg off the ground. I'm gonna stay this high and let go. I'm just gonna breathe, no pulsing, just breathing. And then to the left, eight breaths. And then left leg goes down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring it up. Release, take a nice stretch, open that leg to the left. So again, that should just feel really good. And bring it back up. Bend the knees, take a little stretch center, and then you're gonna lift up again, you're gonna go in a C curl. So you're gonna pull yourself up, and the knees are gonna stay in line with the hips. You're gonna reach for the ankles. So again, I'm lifted way up here. I'm not laying down here. So reach out, you're gonna extend and draw it in. So extend, draw it in. Extend, draw it in. For eight, seven, again, stay lifted. Six, five, four, 
Give me three more, two more. Now one, extend the legs out and look at my feet. I'm gonna turn out here, hands behind my head and I'm gonna beat the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees in, breathe. Good, spinal twist. Take the knees to the right, stretch. Take the knees to the left, stretch. And then to bring it back to center. Lifting up again, hands behind the head. So I don't want anything nice and low, I want it really high, C curl in. The knees are gonna stay in line with the hips. So a lot of times when we do bicycles, you bring the knees way past the hips. We're not doing that. So you're gonna come up and you're gonna twist up into the upper body, not so much the knee in, here. And extend the other leg. Bring it in, and twist, and bring it in, and twist. Bring it in, twist, bring it in. So let's do 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, stay lifted. 10, because the tendency is to start coming down here. Good. And last one. Again, take the legs out, extend the arms, breathe, hold. So let it burn, just hold the knees into the chest. Rock yourself up, straighten the legs, and just forward fold. So breathe here. So coming up. Pilates roll down. So you're going to think of the spine one vertebra at a time. So you're going to start from the bottom. You're going to bring the spine down from the tailbone first. So down, down, down. And then there's going to be that spot that gets really tricky. You're going to bring here. You don't lay down. Sweep the arms and bring yourself all the way up and over. So suck this in. Peel yourself up. And again, tuck the spine, roll it down. Bring it in and come up and over. One more time, lift it up. So peel, so you have tailbone, right? Hip bones, lumbar spine, thoracic. Bring it up and up and over. Good, and lift up. So now we're gonna add on to that. You're gonna come down, knees into the chest. So you're gonna extend the arms you're gonna sweep up. You're gonna come down, knees in, extend everything, sweep up. Knees in, extend everything, sweep up. Knees in, extend, sweep up. Bring the knees in, roll down, extend everything, and sweep up. All right, so we have three more. Draw it in, extend everything, and sweep up. If you want to add on, knees in, extend everything, and then lift the legs straight up. Knees in, last one. Extend, sweep up, draw it up. Good, bring it in, take a little stretch. So to shake that, actually take butterfly and just let the hips release for a second. So draw it down. All right, so this one's a little tough. I'll show the modification if we need to. So you're gonna sit straight, and then you're gonna drop your knees to the right. So you're on a twist already. You're gonna bring your arms to the left. So it's a roll down, but you're actually rolling down on the side. It's really, really, really strong oblique work. So some of you may get to the floor and then never be able to get back up. So we're gonna take it down it's slow. So remember, you're rolling down the right side of your body. At no point will you be on your spine. So you're gonna take it down, and again, we don't lay down. Sweep the arms, come up, exhale. Draw it down, down, down. Sweep the arms, come up, exhale. Roll down along the right side. So you have your right hip bone right there, maybe the rib cage. Sweep around and up. Now if you wanna make it harder, if that was okay for you, 
hands behind the head. So you roll it down, 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 down. Release the arms. Twist. Okay, again. So take it down. Release the arms. And twist. So do one more. Take it down. Release the arms. And twist. Shake that out. Second side. So you're going to drop the knees to the left this time. Give me a big twist to the right and you're going to roll down on the left side. So this probably from far away looks like it's really not that hard. It's actually really hard. And draw up. Twist. So you slowly roll down the left side. The obliques really kick in. And twist. So again, you roll down the left side. Don't lay down and twist. And if you want to make it harder, we do three this way. So take it down and bring it up. Twist. Take it down. So it's slow, 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 slow. And twist. And again, take it down. And twist. All right, hip stretch here. So drop back down. So you're still in that hip stretch, butterfly. And then extend it back down onto your back. So this time, you're gonna bend your left leg. You're gonna extend the right leg. I'm gonna pop up onto the ball of my foot because I'm gonna add my glute. So it's abdominals and glute. Hands up. So I'm gonna be on the ball of my left foot. I'm gonna lift my hip as I draw my left elbow to my right leg and draw it down. So not only do we have an oblique twist, but we've got a glute lift. And then we speed it up. Let's do, let's go ahead and do 15 of these. All right, ready? So one, down, two, down, three, four, five. So don't forget to lift up and down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Give me five more, four more, three, two, and then hold that hip up to the sky, release your upper body, and drop down into the left glute 15 times. Go one, two, so poke a hole in the ceiling. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, for five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. So right away, take your left, we're gonna do reclining pigeon. Take your left ankle on top of your right thigh, press open that hip, reach through, grab the right thigh, and then drop it down. So reclining pigeon. So get into the left hip, left glute that we just worked. Draw it in, so you're pulling on that back thigh, and then release. Shake it out. This time bend the right knee, hands behind the head, pop up onto the toes, extend the left leg, and then we go into that oblique twist and lift. So you lift up, extend out. Lift up, extend out. Lift up, extend out. Lift up. So you have 10 more for 10. Drop it down. Nine, drop it down. Eight, drop it down. Seven, six, exhale in a twist, five, four, three, two, one, drop the upper body, extend the leg, and then we do 15 glute lifts on the right side. So poke a hole in the ceiling, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, so last five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down and into reclining pigeon. Take the right ankle on top of the left, reach through and draw that leg in. So drop the upper body and you're literally pulling this in. So just breathe. So you should feel a stretch in the right side, right here. A couple more breaths and really shake that out. Rock yourself up again 
and take forward fold. So take the legs out, maybe move the buttocks, flash a little bit, flex the feet, inhale. Exhale, take it forward. So move the outer edges of the feet towards you, get into the calves, draw it down, breathe. Take another breath, inhale. Exhale, take it down. Then bring it all the way up, come forward, and we'll take one big twist. So again, twisting is really good for the waistline. So you're gonna take the right leg bent, left leg over, and move it into spinal twist. So you can take an easy twist where you just wrap here, like cradling a baby, and twist. Or if you'd like a deeper twist, you, that's where you really get into your abs. Squeeze in, come to the outside, lift up, and then turn. So it's wringing everything out in there. Hold for one more breath and then release. So when we talk about detoxifying poses, you hear people talk about yoga and detoxing and twisting. It's not because you do a twist and your whole body just you know, detoxifies. It's that when you wring things out in here, you stimulate the large intestine, the small intestine, the colon, that gets things moving to help things flow. So inhale, you can either cradle it or take it to the outside. Exhale, twist. Take another breath, lengthen. Exhale, twist. So wring it out. Good. Come back to center. Shake this out. One more time, forward fold. So just bring it down. Then bring it up. Cross the legs. Sit up nice and tall. Right arm down, left arm up and over. Good. Open the chest. Lift up both arms. Take one more twist to the right. Bring it up. Left arm down, right arm over. Straighten the left arm, twist. Bring it back up and twist to the left. Bring it center. Shake the arms out one last time. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the heart. And you're done. So that concludes your core yoga workout for the day. Thank you.